Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more WWE 2K24 My Rise Unleashed. So in the last episode, I went to war against Team Bailey with Becky Lynch and her team. And Shotzi drove a mother effing tank. So oh wait, hold on. I'm afraid this is a good news, bad news kind of night. And I've always been a bad news first kind of girl. So here goes. With our fearless leader, William Regal returned. Looking quite tan, might I add. The time has come for me to step down as your raw general manager. I actually thought she did a great job, guys. Are you kidding me, Byron? Well, at least it was exciting. Thank you, Byron. Right, so there may have been some mixed opinions on my stint as GM. But I'm sure that's only because we all know where I really belong, which is fighting in a WWE ring. Not sure that's the only reason. Which is why I'm pleased to announce, given Becky's unfortunate medical status, at the hands of someone who William Regal has assured me will be dealt with. The real suits have decided to name a new number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Me! Huge news for the Women's World title. And that championship match is happening right now! Booyah, let's get it on! Survivor Series, we're finally getting to see Bianca defend her championship. Bianca Belair, let's... This woman just will not stop coming after the captain. If her grievance was big enough to get her to take down the War Games cage in a tank, did you really expect her to let it go? Hey there, friend. Give it a rest, Shotzi. Haven't you done enough at this point? I think what you meant to say is, thank you for making me number one contender, Shotzi. Sorry you hurt your leg in that unfortunate tank incident. <laughs> Wait. How did you get hurt when you were driving the tank? Is this really all because I didn't give you proper credit for your terribly original idea of let's have a war games match at Survivor Series? And didn't even put me in the match. But no, this isn't an isolated incident. This apparently is just what you do playing in other people's sandboxes stealing other people's ideas and jumping every line you may have william regal fooled but not me and not the locker room oh i'm sure shotzi cutting lines might work in tbd but in wwe there are consequences Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That's Bailey's music, but where is she? Probably behind me. Just playing mind games here. Yeah, she's probably behind me. Yep, she was. From behind. Shotzi's found an ally who's not okay with being skipped over for a women's world championship match. I don't blame her. It was supposed to be either Bailey or Becky. Cap weaseled in there. Wait. We're getting a call from the back. This is an official match. Oh, Here great. We, we thought it was all over at War Games, but Cap getting named number one contender apparently upset certain members of the locker room. Yeah, at least the ones who felt they were more deserving coming out of that War Games match. Whose Either side are you on, on, Byron? Just got a night off, while two of her possible future opponents are going to tear each other apart. The Women's World Champion is the real winner here. All oh, thanks to Shotzi. Driven down. Now time for some Dez press on Bailey. And a Unleash a slap for good measure. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. And Bailey is being humbled here. Bailey looks to be well. Suck on that, right Bailey. Now. Bailey not looking very role model like there. Quite the opposite of fact. She's being made somewhat of an example here. Barrage. Practically never ending blows. Come oh, great. Time to go to the top. From the top. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bam. And that was a Is this all you can do, Bailey? Came down like a wrecking ball on a cinder block. 
A what? Corey, buddy. Seriously, you don't even go into the stairs. Alright, let's get her ass up. Oh, I tried to go for a tilt pace to a Cena and it backfired. No, I'm trying. To, uh, I hate 2K sometimes. Boom! She's starting to drag a little bit and hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. So much for my competition. Alright, get up, Bailey. Get up. So I could put your right. Oh, shoot. She counted. She wasn't supposed to counter. Nice try. Dang, she's countering left and right. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Right hand after right hand. This is ugly. And Bailey is really being knocked around here. Bailey's being cut off at every pass. Up and down. Boom. That should put her away. One, two. Booyah. She certainly solidified her position as the number one contender. Johnson from behind with that crutch. What the heck? She claimed she was injured. She was nope. pulling all our legs, Cole. Shotzi laying the boots in now. Compared to the tank, this is nothing. Finally, the referee getting control of the situation. I call bullshit. She's using that crutch on her throat. Shotzi wasn't done. Oh! The crutch. At least Shotzi's made her point now, and we can finally get on to the business of the Women's World Championship next week. Seriously? So sure, Byron. Neither am I. Based on what Shotzi said earlier, I doubt that this satisfied her desire for revenge. She's on a mission. My goodness, Shotzi. You just will not leave me alone. I'll gladly kick your ass again, don't get me wrong. Rescheduled? Great. Just my luck. And now we enter another story arc. Although AJ Lee and Bianca Belair would be fire, don't get me wrong. Well, at least I still get my title opportunity. Although I got a feeling Shotzi is going to cost me that too. Geneva, do you have any advice for me? Does it look smaller? Huh? That's what kids always say when they come back home, right? They go off to the great wide world, come home, and everything looks small. I haven't seen you around here much lately. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe a little smaller? I was in the neighborhood. Figured I'd stop in to get a few reps in before my big match with Bianca. Shotzi's not also in the neighborhood, is she? You know my insurance doesn't cover tanks. I don't think you have to worry. Tanks don't get great gas mileage, so she probably won't come crashing through the wall. No promises, though. And just when I was starting to feel nostalgic about you breaking things around here. How are you feeling after that crutch attack? I'm fine. Can you believe Shotzi's still bitter you didn't book her in TBD? And now she's turning it into a whole thing about how I stole her so-called war games idea. In fairness, it's you who didn't want to book her. What? Really? I believe your words at the time were, I'm not impressed. That does sound like me. But I was probably just being flippant. Being flippant without thinking that your actions could actually have consequences? Yeah, definitely you. 
Then, on purpose or not, Shotzi effectively brings you up to the big leagues, and instead of any sort of thanks, you steamroll right into a fantastical whirlwind tour of all things WWE. Let's be fair. I didn't steamroll right away. And Shotzi brought me to Raw so she could make an example of me. Maybe. But is that also why she pitched you the idea for a War Games match when you were GM? A match you thought was a good enough idea to book, but then shut her out of? Whose side are you on? It was my idea. Besides, it wasn't a groundbreaking suggestion. And everything worked out. Right, because I'm sure the WWE Universe saw the superstar GM announce the War Games match, put herself in it, and then thought, hmm. Who else can I give credit to for setting up this awesome main event? It worked out for you. And now you get a championship match against Bianca Belair. Shotzi? Not so much. Jeez, whose side are you on, Geneva? Thank you. You know whose side I'm on. That's why I gotta be straight with you. To make sure you get your head right so you can take that title from Bianca. You know, after ignoring WWE for so long, Becoming their champion is the only thing I can dream of. Go to match. Okay. Well, let's see how this goes. Hopefully, it goes as smoothly as it can. Although with Shotzi still running around... I highly doubt that's the case. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Here goes nothing. I really doubt that um I'm going to have to deal with Shotzi, but this oh no, wait, cutscene. Spent years crisscrossing the world and honing her skills before finally arriving in the big leagues of WWE. You can really feel the electricity in the arena, Michael. Waiting on the champion here. It's obvious Bianca's playing mind games with her opponent. I don't think it's Bianca playing mind games. Oh boy, here we go again. Shotzi. Shotzi's vendetta against the number one contender continues. And it looks like she's had about enough of it. No, no, guys, guys, it's not what you think. I have a seriously heartwarming announcement. Bianca Belair can't be here tonight. Seriously? This is the second time the number one contenders match has been called off. No, I told you, it's actually heartwarming. Bianca was wrapping up an appearance at a nearby community center before the show when suddenly, out of nowhere, three buses of adorable children from a local school showed up, excited to meet the women's world champion. And you know how Bianca is. She wouldn't leave until everyone got a picture and an autograph. How those buses showed up just in time to prevent Bianca from making it here for her championship match tonight. We may never know. Shotzi. But Bianca just couldn't leave those sweet children hanging. Are you seriously booing children? Wow. What a bloodthirsty bunch you all are. I did feel bad that you didn't have a match anymore tonight, though. Oh no, it's not me. I have the night off from in-ring action. Just like at War Games. But these three women do not. Three? Oh my, the cap has history with all these women. Oh great. We're getting word from the truck that she'll be facing them in a fatal Fatal four. Oh Lord, Oscar, Liv, and Rhea. She said to bring it on. Easy to say, harder to survive. Shotzi's curated a formidable challenge for the number one contender. 
Honestly, oh, I'm great. The shots he managed to curate this match and three busloads of children in the same day. What? Uh, that was Shotzi? For God's sakes, catch up, Byron. For once, I agree with you. Catch up, None Byron. Of course, it was Shotzi. Huge fatal four way contest here on Raw. Like you said, Corey, catch oh, great. Attempt to win this fatal four way match. Uh, I'm just wondering after all these false starts, if Cap will ever make it to her title match with Bianca Belair. I don't think I'm going to ever make it. Uh, you know. Deal with Liv. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, crap. Liv, Rhea, and Asuka. Didn't they send Liv packing? Oh, crap. Asuka. Great. Psych. Boom. Drop kick. Oh, great. Now I gotta deal with mommy. No way am I gonna lose this. Oh, man. I'm in trouble, though. All three of these women hate my guts. No sell. And I'm getting my ass kicked by all three of these women. Well, I don't want to no sell again because I need to get my signature up. <laughs> I love that feature where you can just throw the weapon. And it deals with Rhea fairly easy. Oh crap. Did she just spear me? I didn't think Asuka had that in her arsenal. Oh crap. Great. Alright, come on, come on. Alright, let's grab ourselves a weapon first before we go back in there. Kendo stick. Oh crap. That didn't work. In the electric chair, can they somehow counter? Oh, great. Desperately to oh my gosh! Poison mess from the world. Drop kick. Great athleticism. <sighs> I hate these fatal four ways. Suplex. Big form. Well, at least the mist was legal. No way am I losing this. I gotta stick it to Shotzi. Big knee to the midsection. Looking for the single leg DDT on the foot. Boom. You can tell she wants to put an end to this. She avoids the contact. Oh great. Arm trap. Endless knee strikes. Oh strong impact. Uh, I know sold that and I still got attacked. Good thing I was able to kick out before. Yes, I heard the snap. Whoa, turn that kendo stick 
back. Running drop kick on the money. There's more to come. Adogan. Oh great. Now I gotta deal with Lev. Evades their offense. There's a victory roll. Oh, it turns it around and has This referee is so slow. Oh, great. No, grab the damn Kendo stick. Thank you. Oh, crap. I tried to freaking throw the Kendo stick, but. Taking flight. Big mistake there, Corey. She knows that. Oh, no. Rhea, help, help. Ah, oh, thank you for once. Great counter. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Ooh, right to the throat. Oh, ah, oh, Lord, I hate this. I'm getting my ass kicked. Thankfully, Liv was able to kick out. Knee strike connects. That's a few times now she's taken a hit up in that region. Oh, atomic drop. Ooh, a vicious shot right to the dome. She's looking for the win. Hurry right, up, count, 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 ref. Breaks the count. Damn it. That was so close. Not Riptide. Does anybody else have a finisher? Oh Lord, Liv, get your ass in here. I had to. I didn't think Liv was going to be fast enough. Goodness, Shotzi, you really are just out to ruin my career. I call bull crap. This lady is really driving me nuts. <sighs> oh, great. Now I missed my flight. Can I just kick her ass right here in the airport, please? It was you, wasn't it? You're the reason I'm missing my championship match with Bianca. Again! Oh, it's hardly my fault. Your car service was way too willing to accommodate your new itinerary. You know, they really should have some sort of security on that. Figured the least I could do was play hooky from Raw 2 so we could have a little chat. You really want to do this here? Fight in an airport lounge? Absolutely not. They'd never let me back in, and I love their little mini cupcakes too much. I just want what's mine. What exactly is that, Shotzi? I can't go back in time and hire you at TBD. I can't go back and put you in war games. 
Your obsession with me is unhealthy. What's unhealthy is theft. And I'm not just talking about war games. You may have gotten a free pass from Regal to waltz around WWE, ripping off other people's ideas, moves, and gear, but you didn't get a free pass from me. You're the number one contender. That should be me. Put it on the line in a match. Win or lose, we are done after that. If it means never having to deal with your BS again, fine, you're on. But only because there's no way I lose. Yeah, I beat you before, Shotzi. I beat you clean. There's no way that you can beat me. You're the match. Okay. Falls count anywhere? Ugh, this had better be worth it. All I want is just to get my women's world title shot. And whoa. Of course she covers my poster. She's nuts. This lady is out of her mind. But if it means finally getting my women's world title match, I'll be more than happy to kick her ass from here at the kingdom come. I'm not even going to do these entrances. Let's just get to the match. I want to kick Shotzi's ass. From the moment the captain arrived in WWE, Shotzi has had it out for. Finally. finally meet again to Defeat Shotzi, issues. no problem. I've done it before, I can do it again. It's a long-standing grudge that transitioned to WWE and then was punctuated with a tank attack. It seems like a Falls Count Anywhere match is a perfect way for these two to wrap up their long-time battle. Oh! She's going up! Top rope here! Blast off! Through the air! And connects! That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. Now looking for something to waylay her opponent with. And of course, kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. And rogue ninja attacks. And That's that the most random things I've heard you say there, Corey. Found a new source of aggression to battle back with. Oh, uh oh. And she dodged that one nicely, and that definitely made solid impact. And the damage. Oh lord. Keep on coming. No sell. Find the defense for this. Suplex making it look easy. That speed of Shotzi doesn't factor much when she gets shoved around like that. Looks like she's opting to go with the old classic a steel chair and a well executed move we just saw there. Face first into the chair, just one right after the other can't be stopped. Shotzi holds her off. Big knee to the midsection. Shotzi is really falling behind. Yeah, Shotzi finding herself on the wrong end of every exchange. You're just saying that because I'm getting her, because she's getting her ass kicked. What impact! Right in the kisser. Oh, there, now she can't counter my signature or my finisher. Up and down. Boom. Some challenge you gave me, Shotzi. Cap has finally put Shotzi behind her. What a win. I don't think Shotzi got the memo, Saxton. She's not going to take this insult lying down. Spear out of nowhere from Bianca Belair. The women's world champion just obliterated Shotzi. Looks like finally. just as tired of Shotzi's shenanigans as anyone. And now the champion and the number one contender are facing off. We may not have to wait for a match. This could jump off right here. Wait, do I get to choose? It's finally happening. The number one contender and the women's world champion will finally go one on one. It's about darn time. This is going to be an epic clash for that championship, and I can't wait to see it. Let's do it right now, please. I've waited long enough, and so have you guys, but unfortunately, I'm an asshole. <laughs> I'm going to make you guys wait one more episode. So this will be 
what I think is the final part. I could be wrong. There could be more to this story, but so far Shotzi has gotten in the way multiple times just to avoid me from becoming champion. But in the next episode, I will finally face Bianca Belair for the women's world title. Drop kick that like button, drop a flying elbow on that subscribe button, and stay tuned. Deuces, ooses.